Hey y'all, here's a lesson on arpeggios. Okay, arpeggios are basically just the notes of a chord, like a four note chord. Like this is a G major seven chord. You can do it like that. Three, and then skip the A string, and then four, four, three. G major seven. So in a G major seven, let's look at the G scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the scale, right? The G major seven has the G, and the three, the third note of the scale, and the fifth note of the scale. So you have one, three, five. This is the six. This is the seven. So it has the seven. One, three, five, seven. This is the one again. One, three, five, seven, one. So that's a major seven arpeggio for G. Okay, now the next one we're going to look at is the A note. Now we're going to do it up here just to make it a little bit easier. This is kind of like almost a minor pentatonic kind of a shape for this A minor 7 arpeggio. What we have is 5, 8, 7, 5. That is the A, C, E, and G. If you want to look at it in that other position. That would be doing the thirds just like this G one did. So you're always going to skip the next note of the scale and go to its third. So when you skip a note in like a major or minor scale, that's going to the third. And that's making a harmony and the chords thing. So that would be the A minor seven. We could do the whole thing up here. So it's the same as the A minor pentatonic, but there is no D in either spot. A, C, E, G, A, C, E, G, A, C. Okay, so let's look at that down here in the same position as the G was. Five, three, two, five, two, five, five, three, five. You could add that G back in there. Okay, then we're going to go to the next note of this G scale. Um, this is the B minor 7 off this B right here. So that's the second fret, two, five, four, two, four, three, two, five. Okay, here goes the C major seven, three, two, five. And each one of these is just doing the thirds of that chord. C, E, G, B, C, E, G, B up to the seventh fret. Now we're going to go to the D. I'm going to do the D two different ways. This is a D7. This will give you the other main type of arpeggio. We had major 7, we had major 7, and we had minor 7. We're going to get into the dominant 7 now. So here goes D, F sharp, A, C. That's the flat 7 of D. And then D, F sharp, A. Okay, another way to do that would be up here. Five, four, seven, five, seven, seven, five, eight. Okay, so that would be for that. We could look at the E minor, um, the next note of the scale. So we had G major seven, A minor seven, B minor seven, C major seven, D dominant seven. Now we're going to have E, we're going to do on the big string here. O, 3, 2, O, 2, O, O, 3, O, 3. So it's the same as that A minor 7 one. So E minor 7. Okay, we could also kind of start that at that E here. So that would be. Okay, then the seventh note of the scale is the F sharp. And that is a minor 7 flat 5, half diminished, they call that. Yeah, 2, 5, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5. And then you're back to your G. So that's the, let's look at those um, shapes again. We got major 7. That'd be if you were on G. Now, what if you were on C down here in this other bass note? C major 7.
Then let's look at, um, what if you had a dominant 7 up here on G? So that's like this, we had D7 like this. We're going to look at it up on this big string now. You got that 3 there. 3, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 3, 6, 3, 7. What if we had um, a minor 7 there? G minor 7. Minor 7 down here, say we're on this C. Dominant 7 on that C. Okay, so check out my next lesson on the Thrill is Gone, the Aeolian mode, and we're going to use um, these chords. I'm going to do it in G minor, G minor, C minor, but then E flat major 7 to D7. So that's all three of those major types of arpeggios. And I'm going to show you how to play over those changes using those arpeggios. All right, so thanks a lot. Like and subscribe if you dig it. I'm Damon. See you soon. Peace.